So can you say the deal funded by Sasol itself, whereby it's selling 25% of its local operations to qualifying black employees, uh, that's the contentious issue here, a foundation and the black uh, public at large, and that weighed on its profits recently, uh, a payment to that new share scheme. So we're joined by Solidarity CEO, Dr. Dirk Herman. Thank you for being with us. Thank you very Dr. much. So this already started today, a bit of a go slow, some picketing, what happened? Yeah. Today Today the strike started with uh, picketing, go slow, work to rule. Um, the um, situation at Sasol at this stage is they are busy with a shutdown and that is a big maintenance program and that will run for around about three weeks. Our members are um, the technical people um, so they know exactly where to start, where to stop etc. So they plan for this whole three weeks actually very strategic actions um, to put pressure on um, um, Sasol. This is interesting because I thought a planned shutdown means you only need skeletal staff, not much activity. It seemed like a favor to the company to do this now. It's actually the opposite. Right. Um, in a shutdown they use uh, you need more skills. So at this stage on Secunda, they need um, about 30,000 people on the plant because everyone comes in, work on a specific segment, um, clean it, um, test it, then it must be start up again. Um, so it's a very delicate time for Sasso. So you're not even building up to Thursday, you said it's basically started? It already started. <coughs> Today um, our information is that they're already one and a half day behind schedule of the shutdown. For every hour that you go behind schedule, it costs Sasol literally millions. So it, it's building up now. So we believe that Sasol will come back to the um, table so that we can ask discussions because I think this kind of thing, especially because it's so emotional, must be resolved. Mm. So, so solidarity is known as being the union that deals with highly skilled workers. I, I didn't know there was a racial uh, issue to it. Are, are most of your members white? Is, is that what's happening here? Most of your members are white, but not all of your members are white. And the interesting thing is even our black members support this idea um, that we are busy with uh, for the simple reason. They say it's about right and wrong. And it's wrong if you exclude ordinary blue-collar workers simply because of the color of the skin. Mm. Uh, Sasol had a previous scheme in Zalo. In Zalo was inclusive of all workers. It was in line with the general practice in the mining industry where you include from a certain level below you include all because the argument is workers are workers and you don't want to divide them on the racial ground. And yes, a new scheme. And suddenly the new scheme excludes the workers. And the workers but, are frustrated. But Dr. Herman, we as a country um, have accepted something. That in the past people were kept down. So we now have BE laws, we have a whole range of interventions because it's, it's not good enough to just say there's a level playing field. You have to accept that whites were given advantages in the past. The only way to look at that is maybe to give blacks an advantage now. We accept that. Why are you opposing that? You are a presenter at the SABC. The SABC is fully committed to transformation, but they did not absolutely exclude you as a white presenter because they say that must be some kind of a balance. In this case, they fully exclude the white employees from this specific scheme. Then you go too far. Even with empowerment processes, there are certain parameters that you must act within. And then there are certain rules. The United Nations um, Convention for All Forms of um, uh, Elimination or All Forms of Racial Discrimination, um, the Mining Charter, etc. They all give rules so that they can be balanced. And that's the trick in South Africa, mm. to fight the balance between transformation and exclusion. But do you fundamentally oppose BEE then? Because it, it is racially exclusionary for a purpose. We have accepted that. Uh, if you look at the Mining Charter itself, it regulates transformation in the mining industry and Sasol is part of that because of the coal mines. And even the mining charter says you can't exclude absolutely. The, um, the um, uh, Human Rights Commission brought out a report last week on equality and one of the critiques against affirmative action um, uh, in South Africa is that it's a, it became a quota system that excludes. Mm -hmm. Why must we accept that transformation must per definition Excludes. Why can't we get systems in place that can include and transform? Yeah. 
we are lazy. Why, why should Sassel not target uh, black employees here? Because this is about it. It has said specifically, this is not a benefit to workers. This is about achieving a better BEE -E scorecard, Black Economic Empowerment uh, Scorecard. And that's the point. It's all about a scorecard. It's about points. They use a calculator and then they value their white employees according to a score and a calculator. And that is what frustrates them. At this stage, a guy that's 40 years at Sassel will get nothing. A guy that's three weeks there will get um, shares worth uh, of 500,000 rand. You bring racial tension in the work list frustration and that's what we see it's okay but let me ask you again this is about achieving an ownership target which we know uh, is part of the the BEE measures that companies need to take uh, t need need to take it'll prioritize black ownership now don't you want your colleagues your co-workers your black co-workers to benefit rather than Sassel going out and finding um, obscure BEE partners and giving them 25% of the company shouldn't you be applauding this for your co-workers. We are quite glad for our co-workers. In the previous scheme, we also said, good for them, it's empowerment. But in the previous scheme, they did not exclude. The moment that you exclude in an absolute way, you estrange a certain part of your workforce, and that is exa exactly what happened here. It's not necessary. Anglo Gold, they empowered, they enlarged their, um, um, their BE score and their ownership with out um, um, keeping out the white workers they did that at several mining companies and all of that worked and everyone was happy and it was to the benefit of the whole company Sasol divided its workforce because they were lazy they did not think creatively about the scheme I, I don't know about that. You're also um, blowing up what, what the benefits are. Half a million rand, I, I don't know how everybody gets on, on what terms. But in Zalo, the previous scheme failed. Win and, uh, and we know that shares go up and down. Uh, so, so, so they will have to accept this. It's, it's about the fortunes of the company going forward. It's all about the company. Because what the company wants to do is they want to take this scheme and list it on the empowerment segment of the JSE. And that is why white workers can't be part of that. That's the only reason. That's pragmatic. So on the empowerment segment, only blacks can trade with blacks. In Zalo was not that, like that. But the problem with that is they are watering down the share value of the black workers as well because it's a limited... Um, 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 trading possibilities. So they are limiting down the black workers' shares, they are excluding the white um, workers, and they have their scores. Yeah, quite correctly, they have their scores. All right, L let's just say we offered Sassel a chance to come on tonight. They said no. they're not doing interviews. My final question uh, apparently, you have more than 6,000 members. W what harm can you do? Can you really shut down Sassel as, as threatened? I, I, I mean, I don't know if, if they're going to change their mind. Billions have been spent on this. What are you going to do? We have 6,300 members. They um, are technical guys, they are skilled guys, they are in the middle of a shutdown. We know that they can literally put Sassel off. Uh, that's not the ideal situation. We want to get back to the um, negotiation table to get the solution. That is the ideal situation. But we are strong. Sassel will learn the power of knowledge in the next couple of days. All right. Thank you very much, uh, CEO of Union Solidarity, Dr. Dirk Herman Bongani.